I'm seeing that you're looking for love and finance. Like you're looking to just be financially stable and to um, to have someone to share this thing called life with. And some of you who are in connections or you've 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 been in a connection not too long, you know, you may be thinking about like settling down. You may be thinking about uh, having a family. You're thinking about stability. Definitely, this is like a family energy, security. And <laughs> with the magician showing up right after these two energies, um, you're looking to manifest uh, financial abundance and an abundance having to do with uh, your connections. I'm also see that from I'm also seeing that for many of you, like your spirituality is taking precedence. Some of you may be thinking about this full moon energy that's showing up right now. Uh, wow, this is a lot of feminine energy showing up in this um, in this spread right here. This is a major, major. Check this out, okay. This is a major um, energy showing up for the collective, right? And I'm really seeing that the majority of you, if not most of you, are thinking about something or things having to do with security, stability, just being able to like hold your own, to do for yourself. And you're also thinking about, you know, your partnerships, whether they are uh, romantic partnerships. Some of you, um, although this Ten of Cups like refers to like work, hmm, some of you, okay, so some of you, this is like, you know, you're thinking about partnership, possible work partnerships, uh, romantic partnerships, all of these things are in question. Some of you all are definitely thinking about families too, um, manifesting these things. And this High Priestess is here to represent like both the feminine energy that is like presiding over all of this uh the divine feminine energy so you could be a divine feminine divine masculine really giving thought to some of these things manifesting them and you're also taking care of your your spiritual business business having to do with your spirituality and um there is some energy of this full moon showing up uh as well as your intuitive senses that your spirit guides may want you to um to look at it's like it's like two dominant energies that are showing up here i'm seeing a lot of earth energy and water energy and specifically there's something being nurtured as water nurtures earth there's something that you are nurturing in you to manifest um, these energies that are showing up for you. Okay, let's first see what this Ten of Pentacles is about. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles um, may refer to different things. A lot of times in readings, Ten of Pentacles like can be... Uh, can be some ancestor trying to reveal something to you. Okay. And it could be the case here. And we're going to find out. Ten of Cups. Definitely like a ha happily ever after situation. So let's see what this Ten of Cups is about. <laughs> oh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So this Ten of Pentacles may be about a cup situation. A matters of the heart situation. Uh, family having stability creating a stable home life okay so this may have to do with matters surrounding your home tell me about the ten of pentacles okay so the ten of pentacles is about your relationships now this could actually be this could be any kind of relationship um and I'm, I'm like prompted to say that for some of you, this is about work related endeavors like partnerships. Um, this is about creating some stability. So some of you may uh, may actually be focused on creating stability, 
creating partnerships in your um, energy at this time. I'm seeing that a major part of your energy is focused on creating valuable partnerships. Okay, and this is also about ancestors. So as we speak, many of you, um, we also said that the Ten of Pentacles could be about ancestors showing up. So for some of you, um, this this is also Scorpio energy for, so and this is not necessarily just alluding to Scorpios. And I'm seeing that some of my Scorpios, there's some ancestral stuff showing up regarding your connections it could be that your ancestors are arranging some matches or making some matches happen it's like uh it's some energy of matchmaking here you have some ancestors doing some matchmaking here making sure that uh mm, you come into valuable uh connections and really this is an, a general energy for the collective that there may be some spiritual aspect you may be uncovering that there's some spiritual aspect to um you know getting into these connections forming these connections uh forming lasting valuable relationships all of these energies are showing up for you you're making choices um valuable choices when it comes to your connections i'm seeing that you know it is really about letting go to any and all things that are not serving your highest good so that way um yep it's an energy of release change you're removing all things possibly relationships that are not serving your highest good and really owning your own when it comes to forming stable relationships and I'm seeing that there's some spiritual aspect to this. Um, I'm hearing that you're getting some help when it comes to forming these uh, connections. I'm also seeing that this the connections that you're coming into, first and foremost, has to do with you having a very comfortable connection with yourself. Okay? Um, you are coming into your own. You're, you're comfortable in your own skin. And this is also making way for you to um, find, you know, valuable connections. So finding connection, finding a connection with yourself is making way to these other connections that are showing up. And your spirit guides are saying that um, this energy that you have regarding uh, connecting with yourself, a positive self connection is also helping you because this ten of pentacles i'm seeing it's also about the ideas that are coming towards you um there's some ancestral aspect to this ten of pentacles and there's definitely an aspect of like financial abundance so you may actually be noticing that your creativity is like skyrocketing you're coming up with a lot of brilliant ideas uh your spirit guides are saying to follow those inclinations whatever it is that you know the nudges that you're getting those are gonna be very helpful okay ten of cups okay so some of you have with this ten of cups situation some of you have someone who's got their eyes on you someone's got their eyes on you and uh with the death and rebirth card um there could be a two water signs that have their eyes on each other scorpio possibly and another water sign cancer pisces scorpio i'm definitely seeing scorpio energy uh tell me about the ten of cups i'm hearing someone's got their eyes on you okay 